Now let's use z-scores to see a relationship between two values. IQ scores are normally distributed in the population. Who has a higher IQ? A student with a 120 IQ on a scale where 100 is the mean and 10 is the standard deviation? Or a professor with a 128 IQ on a scale where 100 is the mean and 15 is the standard deviation? Briefly explain your answer. What we're going to do is standardize each of these IQ scores, and we do that by using z-scores. So our z-score for 120 is going to be found by taking the score of 120, subtracting from it the mean of 100, and dividing by the standard deviation, which is going to be 10. So here we're going to come up with 20 divided by 10, which is equal to 2. This is telling us that 120 is two standard deviations above the mean in this population. Now let's look at the professor's score. We have a z-score for the 128 that we're trying to find. That's going to be 128 minus our mean, which is 100, divided by the standard deviation of 15. That's going to equal 28 divided by 15. And this is approximately equal to 1.87. So this is now 1.87 standard deviations above the mean. So if we're comparing, then we're going to choose the value which is further away from the, standard from the mean in terms of standard deviations. In other words, in, related, in relation to percentages, this person has a better IQ.